Candida albicans is the most common cause of life-threatening fungal infections. The frequency of these infections is rising with the increasing numbers of intensive care patients and elderly European citizens. Currently, diagnostic tools and antifungal drugs are very limited. Young European researchers at FinCISP are aiming to change this in the future. FinCISP is a Marie Curie initial training network funded by the European Commission and launched in October 2008. Network coordinator Professor Alistair Brown comes from the Institute of Medical Sciences at the University of Aberdeen. The FinCISP network combines a research program on the pathogenomics and systems biology of fungal infections and well-structured training programs. Our network is defining why Candida is good at causing infections, how our immune systems combat these infections, and we're translating this knowledge into the development of better diagnostics and more effective antifungal drugs. Now in doing this, we're training excellent researchers who will lead the European medical research programs of the future. And of course, we're also communicating the importance of our science to the public. Network partners and young researchers at FinCISP come from the UK, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, France and Israel. Regularly they meet at different universities for training workshops and to coordinate their research activities. In the vibrant cosmopolitan city of Berlin, 14 PhD students and two postdocs meet for workshops in research skills training and mathematical modeling of biological systems. Among them is Kate from England. She's working at a company, translating research to generate new and more powerful antifungal drugs. Francesco from Italy is doing fundamental science to understand the pathogen so that we can combat it and fight infections. Neelam from India investigates our immunological defences against fungal infections. The young scientists benefit a lot from being part of the network. One of the advantages is that we have great networking opportunities. And we also do an enjoyable research, we meet every time, we share our idea, we come up with nice solutions. We are from different nations, so it's like getting United Nations together, leading to great career opportunities. At one of the seminars in Berlin, students learn more about biological networks. Professor Edda Klipp teaches them some details of systems biology and mathematical modeling of cell processes. Mathematical models can complement molecular biology. Edda Klipp also belongs to the FinCISP network. She leads the Department of Theoretical Biophysics at the Humboldt University in Berlin. Mathematical modeling can help us to formalize our knowledge about biological processes. If we make the mathematical models, we can use the data and then try to predict the outcome of different experiments, for example. We can combine distinct observations and see whether we understand the mechanism that is behind these observations. You can think about the weather forecast, for example, where people try to describe the observations and then try to predict the weather of the coming days. Uh, in the same way in systems biology, we use the experimental data, but then use mathematical formalisms to describe the outcome of following experiments. After finishing their theoretical work in Berlin, students meet in Jena at the Hans Knoll Institute for a practical workshop. Here they learn to use suitable models for the analysis of virulence and pathogenicity of the fungi Candida albicans. This includes cell culture models and complex alternative infection models. These models are crucial to understand how host fungal interactions on the molecular level translate into clinical diseases. Neelam also takes part in the workshop. She investigates signal molecules which warn the body of the damage caused by the pathogen. In response to this, the immune system chases away the enemy 
through its specialized army of protective cells. In Defensive Shield Battalion, we are trying to solve the mysteries of enemies' infection key strategies and find loopholes to defeat candidiasis. Parallel to the practical sessions, students get the opportunity to listen to talks. For instance, on the dynamic visualization of immune cells interacting with fungal pathogens. Francesco also uses the chance to increase his theoretical knowledge. Just a general question that would be also for you for our labs. Could I really see our this His aim is to characterize new infection associated genes. By using a technique that quantifies fungal gene expression, it is possible to gain enormous information in the infection process and identify genes that are implicated at different stages of infection in different tissues. Kate is investigating which proteins are found within fungal cells the fungi cannot live without. After identifying these important proteins, I hope to find ways of stopping them working. This, in theory, could kill a fungal cell. Eventually, this work could lead to new classes of antifungal drugs. The training of a new generation of scientists within the FinCISP network will lead European research forward in the future. The state-of-the-art research will ultimately lead to improved therapies, which are so important for the long-term health and wealth of all Europeans.